So I believe that I have spotted a UFO in the live footage of the Starliner re-entry. Test. Eight minutes before touchdown. Um, and we are here just before, we've had the re-entry burn, but we're just about to use the heat shield. After the lady talks, an object enters the frame and they go silent. We're getting our first yes. views. We are getting our first views from the NASA WB-57. We see, we see their Starliner continuing its plunge through the atmosphere. We are eight minutes and eight seconds from landing. That image is infrared because of it being uh, dark, of course, over the skies of, uh, of New Mexico right now. Here it comes. Still about 28 miles above the Earth as it continues making its way, uh, just about crossing over the New Mexico border now. This video again coming from uh, one of NASA's WB-57 planes using infrared camera. So what is it? What is the lock? Something is in the lock. Is All it? systems are reported doing well. The Six rectangle, which goes well. red, white, red, white. Seven and a half minutes till landing, red. and just a couple minutes now until we should hear about white. the uh, forward heat shield jettison. Watch it. I assume it's in front of us, in front of the thing. In between the camera and the object. Uh, at any rate, it moves pretty quickly. Great view here. Can't see much since it's dark, but uh, it's good to know that Starliner is on its way home. And, and uh, this is actually a little little better what than is this I was thing? Hoping, considering that it's in the middle of the night UFO? in Mexico. I think so. Very good to see this. Uh, they see this. don't is looking, talk about uh, what that, that is. That image is exactly what we expect. I mean... Is it a helicopter? The thermal protection system on Starliner, of course, protecting the spacecraft from the heat of, uh, of entry. Slowing speed down Here it comes. now, Mach 3.5. What's that? Orbital velocity is Mach 25, so that gives you an What's idea this? of uh, the velocity change. What's this? Now 17 miles above New Mexico. I mean, he's only come for the best part. <laughs> if this thing doesn't have some drogue parachutes come out, it's going to explode. Now, what's this? Six minutes to landing at White Sands, New Mexico. Starliner remains... And it's been since 1987 or 1980 something, when they last had something landing. Speed Mach 1.1, 19,000 meters. This is being shot from a B-52 or something, a uh, platform, <clears throat> low-res downlink. Um, you know, our friend is steadfastly not visible. Yeah, I just thought, you know, seems a bit like a UFO to me, mate. The way it moves, you know, up, down, left, right, all the way. Many, many changes in angle, many changes in direction. Um, it Landing recovery <laughs> team has visual on Starliner as it comes down. You know what I mean? There. Where's it gone? And then, boosh. This, the, there's a disturbance and... 10,000 feet. About 6.2 miles still above New Mexico, but uh, we did just to forward heat shield deploy. Confirmation of that. That's the parachutes. Deploy. Everything drove and out. You can't see the UFO anymore. Oh. Things will happen fast now. You can't. There he is. But I. Uh, start stabilizing the Starliner and slowing it down before the main heat shield deploy after it. And he's watching the. Maybe parachutes, parachutes, rather, not parachutes coming. There they are. Parachutes. Amazing. Part of it. The vehicle is slowing rapidly. And he's out skis. He's out skis. There he goes. Down. And I can't see whatever it was they were having getting some kind of lock on before.